with the same starting 15 very very little change about it for the last number of years indeed 11 of these players have played in all three previous finals including Jerry O'Connor who came on as a sub to play in 2003 Neil Ronan's last All-Ireland final start was in 99 when Cork beat Kilkenny by a solitary point while Brian Corcoran starts his fifth All-Ireland final mind you one of those was in football when Cork lost to Joe Brolly's Derry in 1993 Kilkenny have been hit hard with injuries to J.J. Delaney and Donica Cody. Michael Kamada comes in to play in his seventh All-Ireland final and slots into a full-back line that includes Noel Hickey in the centre and Jackie Tyrrell on his left. John Tennyson is recovered from a shoulder injury and plays at number six, while the one change in the forward line sees the promotion of Richie Power and the exclusion of Michael Rice. However, with the rotation system now favoured, Power could very well switch with Eddie Brennan even before the start of the match. Yeah, Joe, what I'm looking forward to today is who's going to be the unsung hero, you know? It's happened so often in Ireland finals. Some player does nothing made about him beforehand, he steps up. It was Fergie Toohey in 95, Timmy McCarthy in 99. Who's it going to be today? The match is underway. Henry Shefflin and Martin Coverford have switched positions straight away. But we can expect changes aplenty as the game develops over the next 70 minutes of action. Pressure on the court backs immediately there in his hands and knees. Pat Mulcahy foul was committed. It's a free in to Kilkenny and a chance for them to take an early lead. Henry Shefflin, two goals and 39 points in this year's championship match. Another one on his tally, first of the day here. And Kilkenny lead in the 118th All-Ireland Final. Ronan Curran to his left half-back, Sean O'Gohalpin. Under pressure, gets the ball in towards Brian Corcoran. Sun in the eyes of the Kilkenny backs. It bounces out there to John Tennyson. Great clearance by Tennyson. Tremendous noise, wonderful excitement and enthusiasm among the fans. Ronan Curran straight away, back down into the heart of the Kilkenny defence once again. That's a great catch by Neil Ronan. He's fouled, dragged down to the ground, and it's a free to cork and a chance to level up the scoring. Yeah, Ger, only one change, I think, there. You see, great catch, a foul there by John Tennyson came in on top of Niall McCarthy, but just Neil Rowan and Ben O'Connor have switched. Ben O'Connor gone to top of the right and Neil Rowan left half, and practically all the Kilkenny forward line have changed around. You have Eddie Brennan in the right half, Martin Comfort at centre, and Owen Larkin, and you have Richie Power, Henry Shefflin, and Aidan Fogel at the inside. Joe Dean ready to hit this. Trying to level up the match in the third minute. That's on target. Nicely over the bar, and the teams are level. Coming across here is John Tennyson. Seems to have solved the problem area of centre-half back for Kilkenny. The number of assured performances is shaping up to Niall McCarthy there. And let's hope that common sense prevails where they're going to get two yellow cards very, very quickly by Barry Kelly, the match referee who's a school teacher in Burry County, Offaly. First West Meath man ever to handle an All-Ireland hurling final. Great honour for Barry. Lots of tension. Quick lecture. Well, he's escaping without a booking, but I saw the notebook, so presumably that's a ticking per player. McGarry, big one in, dropping in dangerously. Owen Larkin was after it, but getting there first is Pat Mulcahy. The neutron Chandra man pursued in there by Henry Shefflin, pursued as well by Owen Larkin. And he is fouled. Or does he foul? He takes uh, three, three times, catches, yeah. yes. Caught the ball too many times, and it's another free in, and a chance for Kilkenny to go back in front again. Henry Shefflin, one point so far. Looking to make it two points to one. The angle is acute. And the shooting is accurate. Kilkenny lead again, two points to one. Kilkenny fans are coming here hoping to break up this Cork dominance in recent years. Remember, it was Cork who uh, unset unsettled their plans to win a three in a row back in 2004. How Kilkenny would like to turn the Rebels over this year. Will it happen? Derek Ling from Emeralds. Big one down into the corner there towards Aidan Fogarty. Goal to his credit in the Chiefs Championship so far. Getting away from Pat Mulcahy, causing problems. Ronan Kern was there as well. Fogarty hitting, and Fogarty puts it over the bar. That's a great point, and that will do his confidence. An awful lot of good. 
He scored a goal, but he hasn't scored a point in this year's championship to date. But that's now three points to one in this match, and only six and a half minutes are gone. Hand passed to the centre half back, Ronan Curran. Good ball, low and intelligently into Niall McCarthy. Needed two touches, having a go from distance. That's good, that's a beauty! It's been his accolade seen in the past, that kind of distance shooting, but he's had a minute to think about it. He had a few seconds there, but he's made it three points to two. That was a super shot. Once he got the ball up onto his hands, nobody close enough to him. Good long-range shooting by the carry tool player. 3-2. Great catch. Shono got Halpin, there was a foul there. Some holding. Frieda Cork. Roland Curran ready to hit this one. Playing today in his 22nd championship match. Again, well directed. Kilkenny slow off the blocks. Niall McCarthy getting away again. Slipping on the ground. Comes back towards Ben O'Connor. The angle shot from the man who got 1 7 in last year's final. That's his first of the day here. And the match level. Three points apiece. Held on to again there by Martin Comerford. Into the corner here. Always danger about when Eddie Brennan's in the action and he's left it behind there to Sean Ogo Halpin. It's Eddie Brennan's third time facing Cork in a final. Back into the action again come Tommy Kim, Tommy Walsh across from left half back. The puck out's taken very quickly as Tommy gets away. And the referee has uh, stopped the Cork goalkeeper and that's the first time in the match he has stopped him from taking the puck out too quickly. That's interesting. Dodalogues, puck out. Great catch again by Niall McCarthy. He's turned it on with three superb interventions so far. Back to Dean, over his left shoulder, swinging it inside and swinging it over the bar. And Joe Dean has got a second, and Cork, the champions, lead by four points to three. Owen Larkin coming onto it, running into traffic. Larkin looking for an outside player to take it away from him. That player is Aidan Fogarty's jersey was pulled back that time by Jerry O'Connor and it's going to be a free into Kilkenny and a chance to level it once again. Henry Shefflin from 30 metres out straight over the bar. Three for Henry Shefflin, all of them coming from freeze and it's four points apiece. Well, if there were a transfer market in hurling, Henry Shefflin I think would be top of most teams' list. Ger, the tactics around the puck out are amazing. Both Cork midfielders are right out on the wings, and Derek Ling, and especially Derek Ling, is staying back beside his half back line. He's not following them. So it's oh. intriguing with Cusack trying to pick out the short one because he has to. Great pressure by Kilkenny being exerted this time. Comes up here, and that's swung beautifully over the bar by Henry Shefflin. He's got a fourth, first from play, and he eases Kilkenny into the lead by five points to four. Decent ball over here towards Timmy McCarthy. Hasn't been involved so much in the opening 16 minutes. A little hand pass ahead is too far almost for Niall McCarthy, but somehow it's still in play. And Michael Cavan is able to go back and pick it up there for Kilkenny. Supported here by James Wilder, right half back, running into heavy play once again. And the referee saw a clash. It looked a 50 50 situation, but the referee Barry Kelly signals that it's going to be a free out to Kilkenny. So the man who will take this free from just outside his own 45 meters nine is Cha Fitzpatrick, still under 21. He'll be playing in the under 21 final next Sunday here in Croke Park against Tipperary. Lobbing it ahead here towards Eddie Brennan, who hasn't such a good record in finals against Cork. Martin Comerford has, and Martin Comerford fires it over the bar. Great score by Comerford, power packed play. Under 10 minutes to go to half-time. Tight first half. That puck out lands towards Jodine. Looking around for a support player, it's Jerry O'Connor coming through to try and tie it up at six apiece. Jerry O'Connor is first, all from the puck out. And the teams are level for the fourth time in this All-Ireland hurling final at Croke Park. Dean involved. Looking for Jerry O'Connor. There's always a runner coming through from midfield. It's either Kenny or O'Connor. Six all. 
Puck out again, aimed towards Martin Comerford, not for the first time. Breaks instead towards Richie Power. John Gardner keeping it away from Aidan Fogarty, holding his footing. Striking it down, but only as far as Henry Shefflett looks up, straight at the target. It's on target, it's over, and Kilkenny leads 7-6. Henry Shefflett's got a fifth. Two of them coming from play. Wonderful contribution, as always, by Henry Shefflett. But it was that slack clearance by John Gardner under no particular pressure. Straight to Shefflett, and he said, thank you very much indeed. Away to Tom Kenny. Looking for reinforcements, it's John Gardner, the entire half-back line involved in the attack. Didn't produce a score at the other end, however. And that is just Cork's first wide of this first half. And it comes after 28 and a half minutes of play. McGarry looking for Comerford again. This time he switches across to right half forward. He gets there ahead of Sean O'Gohalpine. Drops it in dangerously. Brennan's in there. Bounces away from O'Sullivan. Bounces around to Fogarty. He's going to go! Aidan Fogarty gets his second goal in this championship. And he does so in the 29th minute. Kilkenny fans overjoyed by that. Is that to be the vital breakthrough in this game? Jerry, you'd expect Dermot O'Sullivan, you know, his physical strength ahead of Eddie Brennan, you'd expect him to easily win that ball, but bounce around the square and Fogarty, could he be the man today? That's the difference, an unsung player coming into the match. Jerry O'Connor, getting away easily from Cha Fitzpatrick. Cha struggling to get after him, there's a partial block by Tommy Welch, who was brave and courageous, but it still gets to Brian Corcoran. Out in the angle, Noel Hickey's out there as well. Looking to release it here, as far as Ben O'Connor. Ben who switched out to left half back, having started at right corner forward. From outside the 45 metre line, that carries, it's all the way and it's over the bar. It's a two-point game, and Ben O'Connor has got a second for Cork. 1-7 to eight points. Well, that's come within a minute and a half of the uh, end of the opening 35. There'll be two minutes of stoppage time to be played, but Kilkenny 1-7, Cork eight points. Again, the pressure is on, and again it's Kilkenny who are winning these puck outs. Richie Power this time. Forward here towards Eddie Brennan, checking his stride. Back it comes to Henry Shefflin. Miss directs it this time. Miss hit it. Easy for Dermot O'Sullivan. Hoop there by Aidan Fogarty. Stopped in his tracks. Gets it back safely to Brian Murphy. Not a good clearance. It's a very bad clearance. And that's Derek Ling, and that's over the bar. And Cork really look all over the place at the back. They are very unsettled. The Kilkenny tactics of being in their face this afternoon are ha is having a very, very uneasing effect on the six players in defence. And there's Derek Ling in to benefit and put it over the bar. Straight to Ben O'Connor. Two men on him. Again, it's Jackie Turrell who's required. Comes out towards Ben O'Connor again. Held now by Jerry O'Connor. Inside towards Timmy McCarthy, hasn't scored so far. Niall McCarthy had, running into a couple of Kilkenny players, and James Ryle completing the clearance, not only as far as John Gardner. Gardner head down, typical Gardner, going for it and putting it over the bar. John Gardner's first, and the lead is down to two points, and we're three minutes into the second half. And there's going to be a change. Neil Ronan is going to come off, and Kieran Murphy, I think, yes, the man with the blue helmet, is going to come on. So a chance for him to come into the team now for his 16th championship appearance. Aidan Fogarty, who is starring in this contest. That's a big one, and that's over the bar. It looks like it's one of those days for Aidan Fogarty. A goal and two points. And now, a goal between them again. Three shots at the target for Fogarty, the Emeralds player from Arlingford. Three scores. Kenny takes it, rolls it up there confidently, gets away from Derek Ling. Out it comes here to the flying Jerry O'Connor. He's got one point so far. And he's dispossessed by Ryle. Brilliant little tip away by James Ryle from Greg Bally Callan. Well, that's the kind of intervention that's almost worth a score because Jerry O'Connor was ready to strike this. In came Ryle. That is brilliant defending. Pat Mulcahy makes his way off. The core captain is replaced by Wayne Sherlock. 
got a long, long way to go in this match. We're in the 13th minute of the second half, and this is Char Fitzpatrick looking to keep the little gap between the teams, and Char Fitzpatrick scores his first point coming out of midfield very decisively, and it's 110 to 10 points. There's that little gap the whole time. Whenever Cork get a point back, there's always somebody to step up for Kilkenny. Jerry O'Connor trying to step forward here, stopped again. That midfield area congested by Kilkenny players very successfully. Willie O'Dwyer again here, leaving it behind. Char Fitzpatrick surrounded by Cork players. Back it comes once again to a Kilkenny man. Richie Parr, the final piece of the jigsaw, having a go from distance and putting it over the bar. It's a very confident strike indeed by Kilkenny's Richie Power, first of the day, and he's opened up a four-point gap in this match. Good support play, good confidence strike from a huge distance out. Timmy McCarthy is now being replaced on the Cork team and coming in the hero for Cork in the semi-final victory over Waterford, the man with the gold helmet, Cahill Nocton. So not a good day for Timmy McCarthy and for many of the Cork players so far, trailing by four points. I make it about 11 and a half minutes still to play. The puck out, out as far as Niall McCarthy. It's going to take something special by the Rebels to win this one and win the three in a row. That may be the start by Ben O'Connor. That's his third. Three from three for Ben. One twelve for Kilkenny, 12 points for Cork. Derek Ling, busy as always in midfield. Huge one down to Henry Shefflin, who's drifted into full forward to put pressure on. Here's Eddie Brennan. Is this his moment? A little chip by Eddie Brennan. That's over the bar. He's waited patiently a long time. He's had a good season up to this game here. And Eddie Brennan knocks it over the bar in the 61st minute to stretch Kilkenny's lead. They're ahead by four points. Sean Ogohalpin. They have nine minutes left to try and retain their title. Kilkenny to deny them. That superb play at the back. Wonderful, strong, bustling play. Commanding work back there by Noel Hickey. Into the mix once again it comes. Cork put under pressure. Not for the first time. Aidan Fogarty striking. Aidan Fogarty has put this one over the bar. It's a dream match for Fogarty. A goal and three points. Well, Michael Diagner was mentioning days when players who are lesser stars, lesser heroes, suddenly become the man of the moment. Fogarty is that player. Well, Keanu O'Connor is coming on. His uh, family steeped in the GAA. His father, Michael, from Glanmire, would be very proud to see his son come on. He replaces Kieran Murphy, another Glanmire player from SARS. Kieran Murphy from Aaron's Zone, or uh, Keanu O'Connor rather from Aaron's Zone, but in the Glanmire area. Out it comes here to Henry Shefflin. Shefflin hitting it, and Shefflin putting it over. It's that kind of day. Very little going wrong for Kilkenny. There might have been doubts in the minds of the fans that they hadn't quite done enough at the end of the opening 35 minutes. Now they are turning it on. Up as far as Ben O'Connor. Inside towards Kean O'Connor, normally a half-back or cornerback. Played it left half forward at the start of the championship. Fed in here towards another club mate of his, Brian Corcoran. Corcoran looking for an outlet. It's Niall McCarthy. Kilkenny forcing him wide. Two men after him. Still he slips them. McCarthy looking to set up a goal for Cork. Ben O'Connor, he's got it! It's not over yet. It's a three-point game with four minutes left. Can Cork do it yet? In spite of everything, 67 minutes are gone on the clock. Niall McCarthy in for Ben O'Connor from the tightest of angles. He beats McGarry. It's a three-point game. Kilkenny 116, Cork 113. It continues. Ben can't take it. Joe Dean, McCarthy, they're getting it one another's way. Back there as well, John Tennyson trying to roll it up onto the stick. The substitute, Richie Malali. Richie's first contribution is coming on seconds ago to get it out. We're in the 70th minute. We'll be looking to see how much stoppage time's going to be added on. John Gardner going for it. It's going left. It's gone wide. The margin is still three points in this, the 118th All Ireland hurling final. 
two minutes of stoppage time and we're into it now. Kilkenny, can they maintain their advantage? Can Cork get down the other end and score? A goal to tie it up. That's a chop down, that's got to be a free to Cork. Oh, it's dramatic. Every bit as dramatic as any of the recent matches between Cork and Kilkenny. And it uh, hots up quite considerably down there in front of the canal end goal. James Ryle and Niall McCarthy were just getting to know you particularly well. I can tell you Donal O'Cusick's come out to left half back to take it. That's a yellow card and it's for Niall McCarthy. Four yellow cards for Cork players. 30 seconds to go. Now remember what happened last week on the controversy about the extra time in that. That's floated in, dangerously to the square, went off Ryle's stick, comes out here, rolled up by Keane O'Connor, trying to get it inside there. Connor Cusack's there as well. They get the ball, and the referee blows his whistle, but it's not the end by any means. It's gone out over the end line. Kilkenny will have the puck out. Theirs will be the possession. Brian Cody's team regained the lead in the 15th minute of this match. They have held it since. We're in the 73rd minute. That lady, those fans are ready to cheer. James McGarry, Kilkenny, are they set to be the new champions? Cork will battle, still trying to get the ball back. Jerry O'Connor, they need to get a goal chance, they need to get the ball. O'Halpin wallops it forward. Dean in pursuit, so too Brian Corcoran. Corcoran with Noel Hickey. It won't roll up, it comes for Tennyson. We're into the third minute of stoppage time. All eyes on the referee, it's all over! And Kilkenny are the All-Ireland Hurling Champions for 2006! The Rebel treble has been foiled by a magnificent Kilkenny performance. And Brian Cody has led Kilkenny to the top of the pile. They won the league. They won the Leinster Championship easily. And now, after a mighty battle against Cork, they have won the All-Ireland and they are champions for the 29th time. It was a wonderful, outstanding performance by Kilkenny. Cork, to their credit, battled the whole way. Dermot O'Sullivan had some troubles at the back, but then Cork were put on the back foot so often by the wonderful Kilkenny performance. Cork players absolutely crestfallen, dismayed, but it's Brian Cody's day, it's his team's day, it's James McGarry and the selectors there, Martin Fogarty and Michael Dempsey back. Only three points in it at the end. The full-time score at Croke Park, Kilkenny one goal and 16 points, Cork one goal and 13. It's a great honour for me to stand on the steps of Hogan Sand and accept the Liam McCarthy on behalf of the Kilkenny team and bring Liam McCarthy back home to the Marble City for the 29th time. We'll see you all on the Kilkenny tomorrow night to bring Liam McCarthy home.